What's going on everybody? This is Jen, catching you on DTWJ, representing NJ all day. And it is New Year's Eve. Everybody, happy New Year's! Woo! Yeah, baby! Clink! Cheers! I will not behave. <laughs> mm. Yes! Glass of the day! <laughs> That's right. Oh, and there's beer in it too. Heineken. This is... I, I love the coloring. If I could just... I don't know. That's working. Hang on. Is it working? Is it working with me, baby? Is it? Is it? Woo! Awesome. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Enough with the uh, annoying lighting. Unless that actually makes for a nice background. Uh, I'll try to move out of the way. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's New Year's Eve and um, felt like doing a vlog. Uh, just to wish everybody a very happy, safe, and healthy New Year. Uh, prosperity always comes later. I know everybody is always chasing uh, prosperity, good looks. You know, all that is uh, pretty much superficial, but you don't really get there until uh, you find out what's important in life, and I have. Um, and thankfully, because of that, I've been able to progress and move forward. And uh, business-wise, I've been able to progress and move forward in a way that I now have a business class contract um, with an internet provider and phone provider, and I'm listed in the yellow pages. Yay! <laughs> you know, I never actually thought that I would invest money in uh, any kind of... Um, physical format of advertising. I always thought that I would just keep everything to the internet because, uh, you know, I, I would kind of doubt myself sometimes. I would think to myself, oh, what if I don't make enough money to support this? Um, but this thing came along. I was able to uh, talk with a representative about it, get to know everything. And um, yeah, thankfully, uh, I've been able to get a good deal on it. And um, I'm able to be listed in the yellow pages. So since I've been listed in the yellow pages. Let me get my phone if I can. Uh. Yeah, I'm not going to edit this. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, let's try to sit down. Um. Yeah, um, this happened. I don't know. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I have to do that again because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Sorry. I'm just... To play, press 2. To record, press 7. You've reached the desk of Megapixel Productions. Leave your name, telephone number, and a message, and I will return your call as soon as I can. Thank you, and have a great day. Yeah. So, uh... That's what my uh, my inbox message is now. Um, let me just play that again in case uh, the audio isn't picking up all that great. I hope it is. But let me just go ahead and do it again anyway. To record, press 7. You've reached the desk of Megapixel Productions. Leave your name, telephone number, and a message, and I will return your call as soon as I can. Thank you, and have a great day. Now, when I had originally done that, I actually uh, recorded a message stating <clears throat> what my office hours were going to be, but then I realized I got a tabletop tripod, a new camera, and I'm actually planning on doing uh, on-site point-and-shoot jobs, um, so I'm not always going to be at my desk, so <laughs> it would probably be more useful that you know, I keep it at that, keep it simple. This way I, you know, can actually get back to whoever leaves a message as soon as I possibly can. If they don't leave a message, I'm going to go ahead and assume that they're, you know, like a telemarketer or they're trying to, you know, sell something to me or, you know, that, that usually happens when um, anybody under a company name, even if it's a sole proprietorship, goes yellow pages or anything of that matter, anything that's off the internet especially, forget it. You got all kinds trying to contact you. 
um, and most of which are undesirable and time wasters. It kind of sucks, but I'm actually glad that I'm at this stage right now that I've been able to put my company name in Yellow Pages. Um, so I am progressing and moving forward. Six years strong, I'm still going at it. Um, anything that you really do care about, okay, professionally or otherwise, that you're really all about, okay? It's not going to happen overnight. It takes work, okay, you guys? It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work, a lot of patience, a lot of dedication, and a lot of education. Yes, I said education. Um, like I said, you know, things like um, making your body look better or prosperity are not exactly where it's at all the time. you got to focus on other things sometimes, too, especially family and personal relationships, because, uh, you know, without... Um, you know, without knowledge of those and, uh, you know, a strength and a unity within those, you're kind of lost. You're not exactly screwed, but you're lost. Um, it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to put it. Sorry. Cheers! <laughs> mm. I have to say it's been a very good year. Um, it's been a tough one, too. I've lost a couple of people that I knew. Um, but... On the brighter and lighter side of things, my uh, brother Greg had gotten married to my new and now sister-in-law, my sister, Nikki Beans. I love her. I love you. If you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> yeah, you know, he, he found the perfect woman. He found the woman who was right for him. I should say, because I really don't believe in such a thing, excuse me, as perfection. Because if there was such a thing, I would not be picking my nose. <laughs> you know, it's just impossible to try to achieve perfection. Even when you're looking at a, um, a simpler, complex editing project, there is not going to be such a thing as perfection. No. No, you just got to work around those flubs, Bob Ross that shit, and put a happy fucking tree over there, and then you're good to go. Serious, man. It's not a cold, calculated science. It's an art also. And uh, with art, anything goes, man. You have to be flexible. You have to be willing to work with it. You know, that that's your baby right there. Yeah. So I'm just going off on all kinds of tangents right now because I have so much on my mind, you guys. Anyway, it's been really good. It's been a very good year. I've um, I dated somebody who, well, <laughs> yeah, dated, like I said. Um, it was for two weeks, unfortunately. It didn't really last very long. Um, I'm glad that my BS detector is on point. Um, <laughs> But I'm also glad that uh, a friend of mine reached out to me, like when I was kind of upset about the whole thing and the fact that it didn't work out. She told me, Jen, you know, after watching the whole thing, you know, happen and unfold and uh, seeing how you're dealing with everything right now, you're ready. You know, you're ready to, to find the right person. You're ready to fall in love again, which honestly is a huge relief to me because it's been like four years. Yeah. <laughs> it had been three years and some change before I started dating this, this chick that I was uh, talking with for two weeks, but uh, it's like the first time I ever felt anything for anybody in uh, over three years. And um, I, I, I thank my friend, Jess, you know who you are. <laughs> Thank you for uh, for telling me, you know, for seeing everything as it is and, uh, you know, for helping me out, for lifting me up. And uh, you're right, I am ready. I'm totally ready. It's just um, I'm never ready for bullshit and I'm not going to put up with it. <laughs> but I'm totally ready. I am because I know what I do want. I don't just, fo I don't focus on what I don't want all the time. I used to do that when I was younger and I kind of realized that it made me very repellent, which I enjoyed at the time, but now it, things are different. You know, I, I really am ready to try again, to do it again. Um, just has to be with the right person. Uh, so on a personal level, that's kind of something that I'm still working on. Um, but it's good to know that I've uh, achieved um, a place in my heart, my mind, 
and in my spirit that I'm actually ready to try again. So yay me. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Seriously, I'm actually happy about that. Uh, there's just been so much that had gone on over the past year. It's ridiculous, dude. Uh, it's about 8.14, almost quarter after 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Buzz. Yep. So after I get done with this one, I'm probably going to head to the store, to be honest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Cut back on drinking, too, which is actually good for me. So I'm actually able to, like, focus on what the hell I'm doing. And I'm able to, you know, move with um, my goals consistently every single day, inch by inch, mile by mile. I'm able to do it. Um, so yeah, things have actually been getting a lot better for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I had no idea how much I drank until I just decided to like cut back on that shit and focus on things. Um, and uh, now that I, now every single time I decide, hey, you know, I want to go out to the store and get a couple of beers or something. I think to myself, wow, do I want to do this right now? Am I sure? Do I have something to do the next day? Like, I actually give a fuck about things. <laughs> Not that I didn't before. It's just that I was, um, at that point, under a lot of stress for a lot of reasons. And, um, it was kind of hard for me to <clears throat> deal with some stuff. All right, I'm not exactly condoning it and saying that that's the right way to go about shit. That's not how you deal with it. Eventually, you're going to have to come across yourself. You're going to have to cross paths with yourself. Like when you go into the bathroom and you're brushing your teeth, you have to look in the mirror, don't you? Yeah, you end up crossing paths with yourself and it challenges you to take a good look at yourself deep inside what's going on with you. And if you don't know what the hell is going on at the moment, give it time. It'll surface. It will. And, you know, at that point, you deal with it. And once you deal with it, you know, what's going on, what's not going on, um, ways to go about making it better. And then once it does become better, or starts to become better, things, um, things change and in a very good way. I don't know, uh, how else to put it, you guys. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve. It's freaking crazy. So I know I'm going to the store. I just hope that nobody tries to run me over. <laughs> Goodness knows I already got hit by a car once. I'm not trying to have that happen again. Thank you very much. With the way people are driving nowadays, you know, driving and texting plus drinking and maybe smoking a blunt, it's ridiculous. You don't know what the fuck these people do. Like, I don't know, it's scary. <laughs> I'm still going to go to the store anyway. I'm not going to stop living. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh my god, I'm never going to leave my house again. <laughs> I don't give a shit. You hit me, I'm going to make some money, bitch. <laughs> Serious. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to be nice about that? No, I'm not. I don't care. Yeah. Be responsible about your stuff or get the hell off the road. It's that simple, man. <laughs> That's why I'm walking, because I've already had, like, three of these. <laughs> mm-hmm. At least I know how to, you know, be honest with myself and check in with myself and know enough to admit to myself whether I can or cannot accomplish something, even if it's simple or complex at any given time. At least I'm that in tune with myself. So thank goodness for that. And I hope that um, any of you out there who are struggling with anything can find that clarity. Um, because trust me, once you do, things really do get a lot better. And you start to make progress. And once you see that progress, you see what you see, you see, and then you say to yourself, wow, I really am smart. I really am talented. I really am a good person. I really do care, not just about my art and my craft. And, um, not just about my business, but about people. And I know exactly how everything that I can do, I know how every gift that I have is going to help people. It just starts to come together for you when you really care about it that much, man, and you sit down and you think about that stuff, dude. It comes to you. It really does. 
um, after of course you know you get done with facing yourself all that all that darkness inside of you that's been holding you back you know whether it was imposed on you or something that's self-imposed you still absorbed it um, and because you did it's still a part of you and it's something that you still have to look at and deal with so that you can keep moving forward um, because it's about progression not oppression thank you guys for watching me happy new year may it be a good and safe one and a healthy one as well it's been Jack catching you on DTWJ keeping it real as always love and light you guys man don't forget to subscribe I'll see you on the next one